Howdy everyone, back out in the shop, getting some stuff done on these baffles. So I believe I had talked about putting in, where's my top cowling? Well, my top cowling's over here, kind of out of the way. But I've already talked about temporarily trying to fit these inlet ramps. You can see that one over there. These ramps to the top cowling. Those are pretty much done at this point for now. So what I had done was I put the bottom cowling on and then again, one at a time, I put the pieces that needed to be trimmed. So this front piece here needed to be trimmed to the inlet ramp. This piece here needed to be trimmed. This piece on the other side needed to be trimmed and this piece here. So I took these off and one at a time, I started with this one. I put this one on, had these other ones off. Put the cowling on. Of course, the cowling now sits high because it ends up, the inlet ramp ends up resting on this. So just like I had done before, I just set it on. I reach in through here with a marker, make my mark, take the cowling off, take this side piece off, trim it, put it back on cowling back on. Now the cowling sits a little bit lower because this has been trimmed. Reach in here. Keep doing that until I can get the cowling completely in place. Once that's done, I can leave this piece where it is. Move on to the next piece. Put the next piece in. Put the cowling on. Of course, the cowling is going to sit really high because it's resting on the inlet ramp. Trim this. Cowling sits a little lower. Trim it. Cowling sits a little bit lower trim it until so you can get the cowling completely on. Do that for this piece, and do that for this piece. At that point, um, I did the uh, paper clips. I actually did the paper clips one at, one at a time as well. And then that gave me my final trim profile for these individual pieces. So now that's done, at least for now. I don't think I need to trim anything else so those are done as far as trimming goes. The next thing that I want to work on is the, I think I have a picture of it over here. These rubber seals that need to be put in place. This is a piece of metal. These need to be put in place on the bottom cowling for the transition between the cowling and the inlet ramps. So the first thing that they talk about doing is you want to have a flat area for this metal strip and the rubber seal to mount to. So this is the profile of the cowling. You want a flat spot here for the, uh, for the seal to sit against. This is a piece of metal here that's supplied in the baffle kit. This is the metal strip that will help reinforce the rubber. This is a half inch thick. The instructions state that from the front edge of the cowling, the um, metal is flush with the edge of the cowling. So you only need a flat spot here that's roughly a half an inch or so, five eighths wide. So if you look at, let me see how I can do this. Maybe I should try to stand this up. So basically what they're talking about is that metal strip has to fit up underneath here. And then your rubber is going to stick out this way, right? So this is the bottom cowling as it would be mounted to the airplane. So the metal strip gets put under here and it's shaped to the inlet. And then that between that and the cowling sandwiched in between will be your piece of rubber that sticks out. So this surface underneath here needs to be somewhat smooth and flat so you can have something nice to attach those to. The front edge of that strip is even with the edge of the cowling here. So you only need a spot roughly half inch thick or half inch deep underneath here for that to sit on. Let me see if I can stand this up. Okay, sorry for the camera. 
try and do this one handed as always. So now we're inside the cowling and here's an inlet and you can see how I sanded that smooth. Here's the other side. I know the lighting is getting really bad. But all I had done was mixed up an epoxy flox mix, nice and thick, and I slathered it on both of these like you would peanut butter on bread. Let it dry for quite a while. It's actually been a couple weeks, doesn't need to be that long, but that's just how it worked out. And then I came back and sanded them smooth and flat, roughly. It adds a little bit of thickness, which is good because you're going to run bolts through there anyway, so if it's... Uh, if it's a little bit more beefy, that's great, in my opinion, but you don't need to go overboard. So now I can start to fit those metal pieces to these inlets and the rubber seals. So that's what I'm working on now. So I'll do some work on that, and I will talk to you guys later.